Hello and welcome to Schneider House National Historic Sites virtual field trip. My name is Katie and right now I am sitting in the Schneider's four square garden and you could probably tell why we call it that because there are four raised beds in this garden. And so the Schneiders in the 1850s when they lived here, they would have grown both herbs and vegetables in this garden for their use because plants, as we know, are really important to animals and humans. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be learning all about plants and what they need. Now, what does a plant need in order to turn from a tiny little seed like this into a beautiful plant like you see beside me? How does it go from a seed or a bulb into a plant? Well. I have a little acronym that helps me out to learn that. We can use the acronym LAWNS. So plants, they need light and air and for energy and they turn that energy into food. Now actually, what's pretty amazing about plants is that plants will give us oxygen while they absorb our carbon dioxide. So all together, I'd like you to join me. Let's take a big breath of air in let it out. So we just breathe in all that wonderful oxygen that plants give us and our carbon dioxide that we breathe out will help plants to turn that energy into food so they can grow really healthy. Now water and nutrients plants will absorb in their roots and actually the water will help the nutrients travel up the stem and so the whole plant can grow nice and healthy. And as for space, well you need to make sure your plants, you, you spread them out and give them lots of space so that they're not over top of each other and they can grow nice and healthy. And so today you're gonna to learn all about ways that we can help our plants grow and how the Schneiders would have used plants in their everyday life. So I hope you enjoy.